Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Is, Is this thing on? on? Today is going to be totally different from what we usually do. Yes. We are doing a Q&A. We put some, we put it up on Instagram and asked people if they wanted to ask us questions. What did they want to know about us? Yes. And we're going to be answering your questions. Honestly, um, if you guys are not already, follow us on Instagram. Please. I put our handles right here. Right below. And watch our stories. I don't really post. I have yeah. to really start posting more. Me too. But I'm always posting a story, so mm. that's what I said. Okay. So, yeah. So, this Q&A is to get to know us. We feel like on our channel, we haven't really said a lot about us. Like, you guys know we're twins because that's obvious. Yeah, but you guys really don't even know too much about us. So, mm. we wanted to get to, you know, let's get acquainted. I have the questions in my phone. All right. First question, first question. is, <laughs> you guys travel so much. What do you do for a living? Uh, so we are in the airline travel industry. Yes. So um, that's why we travel so much. Mm -hmm. Our dad, uh, he retired from Southwest Airlines. Mm -hmm. And then um, we were always accustomed to that lifestyle. We've always traveled. So then we started in like hotels and mm -hmm. airlines. And so now <laughs> we're in the process of having our own small little business. So that's why we travel so much. No, you cannot know our business. Don't do that. But that's it. That's why we travel so much. Yeah. We love and it. We love it. Regardless of what jobs we had, we would still travel as much as we do. Absolutely. So it's just, honestly, it's a blessing. It so. is. It really is. God is so good to us. Yeah. Right. Question number two. Have, have you guys dated the same person? No. no. We well, don't know that it was once we went on a date. With oh, the same we went person. on a date with but the same that person. That wasn't our fault because How we I, didn't know. That, that's what I was gonna say. Because when we lived in Raleigh, North Carolina, we used to date a lot. Yeah. Um, not like have sex, but we just used to go date. out on dates. Yeah. And this guy went out with me, and then he went out with her. And they didn't tell me. Didn't tell her. But we we did a whole month thing about that. Yeah. It's so channel, watch so. that. But yeah, so never, no, never, no, no. gross. We don't even like the same kind of guys. Yeah, it's, yeah. So, so, yeah. Question number three. Question number three is, have you guys always been so close? And no. No. We have not. Mm -hmm. I feel like when we were younger, younger, we were not, no. we were close, but we were not as this close. Yeah, I felt like we were forced to be close when we were younger. And we, it wasn't genuine mm -hmm. until we got, until we graduated, graduated high, high school. school. And we realized we didn't have no friends for real. We just yeah. had each other, honestly. Like, yeah, no, it, was, it was too much. Like, oh, does this person like me? Or are they mad at me? Like, it was right. mentally, I couldn't take nobody else. Yeah. So, we, after high school, we just really started just mm -hmm. rocking together. And, you know, some po sometimes when we were younger, people would try to pin us against each other. All the time. And um, I realized now that they were jealous. AF. Because it's honestly a blessing to have a relationship with someone like this. Like mm -hmm. they made us feel like we were weird. They As made fuck. they made us feel like we were followers. Like they tried to be like, oh, we you guys are followers. You, follow you can't Reba. do one. Yeah, you yeah. can't do this. Well, like, well, who cares? Right. Maybe I can't. Right. Okay. <laughs> have you thought about that? <laughs> oh, it was just like so crazy. How many people did not want us to be like as, as cool as we, as we are? are. Yeah. yeah. So, but when we graduated high school is when we realized we had no friends. We literally fell out with everybody. everybody. And it's crazy because God will definitely, he'll show you. Mm -hmm. He will show you. So, yeah, we, I, and then honestly, I feel like after she got married and we moved and we started doing our own life thing, we really got, got closer. a lot closer. Yeah. So. It's, it's dope. Yeah, it's really nice. And when I got married, I just needed to have somebody that knew, like, I'm very close to my twin. Like, I'm very close. Like, right. And he's cool with it. And he loves her. So, I just, I just it works yeah, out perfectly. It really does. So, yeah. Um, yeah. They're, but once upon a time, Miranda and we're I were not, not close. Mm -mm. We were not. No. Okay. Question number four. Question number four. What is that? It kind of is, how, how does it feel being a twin? 
We get this we question get this all, all the, time. the time. And I ask people, how does it feel being a single person? Right. We, we don't, don't know. know. Like, we don't know how it feels. It doesn't, it feels so, normal. Yeah. We don't know how it feels not to be a twin because we are twins. Yeah. So it's like, it feels normal. That's it. Yeah. Cool. I mean, we get a lot of stares. We get different, you know, and sometimes we forget that we are twins. Mm -hmm. And we're like, why the fuck are they staring at us? And right. Like, oh, wait. Yeah. You know, they they see it. Yeah. <laughs> they know <laughs> we're twins. We're spotted. They caught us. We're spotted. They caught us. So, yeah, but other than that, it's just normal. So, question, but yeah. What question I'm um, oh, what are your favorite places in the world to eat? Tucson, Arizona. Hands down. Arizona. Arizona. Best food to the us. Best. You know what? And it's it's really Tucson. It's for Tucson real. for it's us. Really Tucson. We you have traveled. We have traveled so many, yeah. so many places. Yes. And there is no place like Tucson, Arizona. And that's our where we grew up at is in Tucson, Arizona. Yes. So it's like. It's more than just the food is bomb, but it's just like everything that comes with the food. So yeah. we love Mexican food and uh, we love every type of food, but our favorite is Mexican and Phil Bertos and Los, Los Bertos, Los Bertos and, and El Monito. Yes, all, all of those, those places. places. And then they have a place called EG's out there, which is hands down. So good. It's you ain't never going to find that. And that's one of the places that I wish I will never want to chain for that one. Because no. I don't want anybody to experience that. I don't want anyone Unless that. you go to Arizona, go yeah. to Tucson. So, yeah. And then they have Wiener Snitchel. Yes. Oh, God. Wiener so Snitchel is a hot dog place, and it is so fire. So good. They used to have like, Yokohama Rice Yo Bowl. Yes, that used to be our spot in Crab Ragoons. used to just fire. And so the good. rice was so bomb. It's sticky. It's so sticky. And that oh, and the vegetables. Is we need to fly. We need to fly to Tucson. Yes, but yeah, Tucson, Arizona has the best. And we've food. eaten, like I said, we've eaten a lot of places. Like every place we go, if you see our vlogs, we eat somewhere because we eating. like trying different foods. Now those foods are good; they're bomb. Most of them are bomb, but to have it all in one place, and then their sushi there is so amazing. Oh, so like you good. would never think. It's just bomb. It's sushi. It, I mean, it's a whole experience trying the different foods out in Tucson. So yeah. that is one of our favorite places yeah. to get food from. Right. Okay, number six is favorite place to visit and vibe out. Ooh. Mm. Well, I my my place is New York. Okay. I I adore New York. Mm -hmm. I adore She's there, like every month. What I love New York. It's the the biggie vibes. The you know just being in the city and. Yeah. Just the men and the the, the fashion. Yes. It's it's just a whole vibe. But honestly, right now, LA is giving me a vibe. Yeah, LA is giving me a vibe. But my place to vibe out has always been DC. <laughs> <laughs> I love DC. I tell people this all the time. And plus, I love history. And 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 DC is one of them places where you just have to sit and look like. Damn, like I'm in, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? That's true. It's it's Chocolate City. It is okay. So you see black people with money, and it, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's so a I love vibe. it. And then you got Baltimore right there. Like, oh, you that's a vibe. Down the street. That's a vibe. So places I like to go and vibe out with DC. <laughs> and then my next place will probably be Raleigh, just because we used to live there, and that's where we. Yeah. We did more of our growing up, I feel like. Those were, we spent, what, like seven years in Raleigh almost? Off and on. Yeah, off and like off that, like yeah. that. So, Raleigh and D.C. Yeah, New York and L.A. So, yeah. Okay, number seven. Ooh, how did you get so confident being plus size? Y'all, listen, when we were confident being plus size in like 2012, 13, 14, you wasn't allowed to be confident of being plus You better size. shut up. You, okay. <laughs> right? Honestly. No, okay? <laughs> you were not allowed. Like, you were not. The plus size community has come so far. Because in 2012, when we were just becoming, like, finding ourselves and being adults, it was like, you shouldn't have confidence. You shouldn't be wearing that. You shouldn't be... No. 
doing that. We they wanted like it just was not how it is today, and no. I'm so happy that it is. But honestly, I feel like I got my confidence from being bullied all Me the too. time. I mean, I, it was at one point like anything I did, somebody was going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So I might as well feel good about myself, mm -hmm. love myself, mm -hmm. and I only got one life to live. Yep. Like I'm not about to have these people run me around, no family, no nothing, no nobody. No. Nope. So I I literally like through high school, like we grew up in Arizona. I would always wear long sleeves because I was ashamed of my stretch marks on my arm. And then it was just like, you know what, Randa? I don't give a fuck. You can see my stretch marks. These are my stretch marks. Like, back then, it was like, you were, if you wore shorts and you were a big girl, you were like, crucified. Go ahead and help Jesus with his cross. Okay. Because it's time. Because it's time. And it's now, time. it's like, but honestly, like you said, it was getting bullied. We got talked about. We got laughed at. I remember when I was in Cleveland and I was checking out and I had gotten this, I think it was the stripes that go around shirt. And the clerk dead looked at me and was like, what kind of stripes is it that the big people aren't supposed to wear? And Ooh, I was like, she did that. But you know what? I still wore it. And I think that our platforms on Instagram, we get so many people that are just like, you guys are so awesome. I, I love your confidence you guys yeah. have. So we've always been like, even when we lose weight, we still, we've never lost weight and not been plus size. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm not about to sit up here and not wear what I want to wear, not feel good about myself because mm -hmm. somebody's going to look at me because I'm wearing it. Like, they're going to look at me regardless and have something to say about something I'm wearing mm -hmm. or doing. Mm -hmm. So you might as well do what you have to do. So, yeah, that's how we became so confident. Honestly, we were forced. Okay. Honestly. We really were. So, <clears throat> but yeah. All right. Number eight is favorite place you lived. Oh, Raleigh. 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 Man. The end. Um, number nine is how did the pandemic affect you? Wow. Yeah. The um so when it first hit, I just moved into my townhouse. Mm -hmm. I literally was so distraught. I told Randa, how am I supposed to do this now? How am I supposed mm -hmm. to go? How am I supposed to pay for my rent? And I just got dropped down from like 38 hours a week to 12. There is no way mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. And literally unemployment swooped in mm -hmm. and then we were forced to start our own business. Mm -hmm. And to God be the glory. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. He, he really helped us through this pandemic. He really, I mean, he just manifested our lives. He really did. He really did because I haven't clocked in in almost a year. And for me, being the workhorse I have always been taught to be, it's weird, but it's so relieving for my mental health. Like the last real job I left, I left because I couldn't take it anymore mentally. Yeah. So this time being off, and it's sad to say that the pandemic was a blessing to it me. Was. Me and my husband bought our first home in the pandemic. God has supplied us more than enough during a pandemic like we honestly yeah. we act up all it's like you may see us acting like whatever whatever you want to interpret yeah but me and my sister we come from a praying home mm -hmm. and we keep god first always always we are so, always so the pandemic was a blessing for me it was and i mean it's sad to say it is some families say. you know they did go through a lot mm -hmm. and it did you know crush a lot of people but for us it was, it truly ch separated the little girls from the, the big girls, mm -hmm. the, the big girl panties, okay? The thongs, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, I, I still am employed technically. However, I don't work. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but it did, mm -hmm. it did help. Yep. Okay, so, um... Oh, I think we talked about it. It's the last question. It, well, not the last question. Let me see. That's number 10. I know I have more questions that y'all asked me. I just got to get them on Instagram. Um, I had some questions. However, my questions were, when are you going to see me? When are you going to stop coming through my city and come check me out? Can we video chat? Can we? No. So no. I'll do this last question. Um, and No was does laser hair removal hurt oh 
Okay, that's a good one. So yeah, that'll be our last question. <clears throat> so we're gonna do a video on our laser hair experience because we both suffer from PCOS. Yes. Um, and we had facial hair and now- We had it cold. And now we don't. Now we don't. So laser hair removal, I was very scared about getting it because I heard and saw her horror stories on YouTube about it. But the girl, the late, the woman we go to who is awesome, she uses this cooling mechanism. Yeah, this cooling technique. Um, yeah. And it cools the area so you don't have, feel that burn mm -hmm. of the laser, which it could be yeah. painful. So I think that's what that's why what, yeah. some girls are saying that it hurts a lot. But I mean, it, it feels like a, just a little sting, but it, it's not it's not worth not going. Yeah, the um the whole procedure, like when she does it, it takes shorter than when you're waxing. It took like so, for maybe me, two minutes. I don't I don't like the the brace yourself for wax. It me always either. makes me nervous. Like yeah, here she, here she goes. Like is she gonna rip my skin? You know, is she, am I gonna bleed? Yeah, like, she, yeah. So I would say no if you go to the right person. No, no, go to my girl out here in Covington, Louisiana. She'll get you right all the way right. So. We're basically an open book. We're 35. I know. It's hard to believe. No. But we're 35. 35. Yeah. And uh, 80s baby. We were born in California mm -hmm. and we moved around. We lived in Baltimore, Cleveland, Columbus, Arizona, Raleigh, Atlanta, mm -hmm. and now New Orleans. Now New Orleans. Um, She's married. I'm not. She has a kid. I do not. I do have a baby boy. But I have fur babies. And, they and the, my and nieces the... and nephews are so adorable. Don't play. Please don't. Don't ever play. But, um, yeah, we love fashion. We love just vibing out. We yeah. don't do clubs. We don't we do don't. bars. Mm -hmm. We don't do anything that involves senseless acts of killing. Okay. There's no first 48s over here. No. We just chill. Like, so... Yeah. Yeah. So I hope we answered as many questions so you guys can get to freaking know us. I hope so, you guys, because I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted too, but I feel like this was fun, right? I feel like, yeah. I feel like you guys needed to know this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If you guys have any more questions, just comment down below. Let us know. We'll have all of our information down there as always, you guys. Yes. And we love you so much. We love you. Also, you guys, we are going to dedicate a whole month. What's today? the 21st. 21st so we're gonna dedicate because it says it takes 30 days to start a habit our upload days are gonna be tuesday and fridays yes so we're gonna have a video we're gonna do it commit to a month right now yes but after that month it's on a popping it's on a popping so yeah get used to us yeah we're here we love you we love you too so bye guys bye